Hello. Today is Saturday, July 25th. And I've been doing some painting. This is Camelot, by the way. So, in clinic on Friday, yesterday, um, I decided to watch a Bob Ross video, which I've seen him before on TV, but I never really, like, watched his show, like, paid attention to it. I thought it was for old people. But this time, since I've been painting, it was a lot more relevant to me. And I, I was thinking, I could do that. So, but he uses oils. And I only had acrylic yesterday. But I'm going to show you. I came home and tried to paint something like this. what he does. So I, I came home and painted this with acrylics and my standard brushes that most of them are pretty cheap, pretty cheap quality. But um, yeah, so I did that. And then today, Michael's was having a sale. They sent me a couple coupons for 30% off your entire order, except for things that are on sale already. <coughs> <coughs> and then one thing gets 50% off. Preferably the most expensive item, which is what I did. And... I'll show you some of the brushes I got. They're over here because I washed them. But this one, which is all, it's a two inch brush. Kind of like a brush you would paint your walls with. Um, this is, I did not buy that today. I had that. Um, a good fan brush. Um, those two brushes were pretty inexpensive. This one, I think, was supposed to be, like, almost $20. But I got everything on sale. So that's really good. And this one. And they're so long. And then this one. Which Bob Ross claims that this brush is the most important because you <coughs> sign your name at the bottom. <coughs> And I got these oils to practice with. I don't know what quality they are, but they weren't very expensive. And the tubes are really small. Like this whole thing was like $14 before the sale. And Bob used, uses things like this, like knives, a lot. This is the best one that they had at Michael's, and it's not very good. Like, I, I'm gonna have to order um, his actual branded painting knives because that would work a lot better. And I got this paint thinner, which is not his brand again, but cause they don't even sell his brand there. I was very disappointed. So this is odorless paint thinner, which you need when you work with oils. And my jar is gone, but this is the lid. Um, I have to show you the jar. Ah. Um, this jar. Um, it's for your brushes. It has this gate in at the bottom that bows up so that you pour your paint thinner until it goes over this this gate and you like twist your brush over it and all of the oils go to the bottom 
and it cleans your brush. And then uh, on top of the fridge, I have my palette, which I need to order his palette because I think it would work better. His stuff just seems like the best, like for real. And I also got this white paint because he uses something called liquid white or magic white to go on his canvas before he even starts painting because it makes the canvas wet and easier to blend things. And this is my bigger painting and it is oil that I did today. The trees are harder to do with oils because they the paint stays wet and it's harder to put like yellow or, or lighter green on top of it because the dark just kind of eats it up. So I'm not the most pleased with this painting, but um, I think it's pretty good for my first go at oils. Um, so I may be getting my Hickman out like this coming week. I don't know for sure because they have to call me. The surgeon has to call me and, <coughs> and tell me when to come in for that. But um, I'm done with methotrexate. And that's awesome because my counts have been pretty low. And, um, oh, you see that, that dog picture? That was it. My mom did that. <coughs> uh. <coughs> mm. Um. Hold on. I'm sorry. Um. I forgot what I was just talking about. Well, for this moment. My mom did this picture of our dog that we had to get put down actually, but um, she took a picture and like drew it with pencils. And this giraffe, she did the same thing. It looks so real. And this bird, she did a long time ago, before I was born I think. And she did this bird. A lot more recently. So, art runs in my family. And I really wish my grandpa was still alive because he used oil paintings and my mom does not. I don't think she ever really has, but I would have a. See, he painted that. It's huge. It's really big. Um, one of those houses was their house. So he did that. I don't know if it's oil or what. But he was cool. And I didn't really have a lot of time to get to know him. He died. I was probably like at least 12 or something. But never really bonded very much with him. But if he was alive now, I would be at his house all the time, probably. Letting him teach me his ways. But, um, yeah, so I might get my Hickman out really soon, like in a week. But I don't know, because they haven't called me. Um, and I'm going to go on vacation. August 7th. That weekend, my boyfriend's brother and his wife um, are getting their grandparents' mountain house for the weekend. And apparently it's freaking huge. Like, it holds 40 people. It has a bunch of bunk beds and stuff. And I will get to go. And we're going to take a bunch of people that we hang out with a lot. And... I haven't had a vacation in a long time. 
so I'm really, really excited for that. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, I made this little knuckle ring, and it was so cute, but it, it fell off somewhere in my yard and I was bringing in this bag of stuff from Michael's and I couldn't find it. It was so cute. But this ring I made also from my thumb. And maybe I already showed you this. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't really watch my videos after I make them usually. Mm. And in November, I'm going to go to the Marine Corps ball with my boyfriend, because he's a Marine. I went a couple years ago with him, and I was severely underdressed. I didn't know that the girls treated it higher than prom. Like, they get all did up and stuff. I hope my hair is a little bit longer by then so I can do something pretty with it. I was telling Zach, my boyfriend, that I was gonna, um, wear, like, fake eyelashes and stuff. He doesn't really like makeup. Like, he would rather me not wear makeup. But for something like that, I'm going to get a nice dress. I'm not going to wear heels. I don't do heels. But everyone there that's a girl pretty much wears heels. And so I would like to get all decked out and go to like Sephora and get some nice makeup. <coughs> So there to talk about to the world of YouTube. I really wanted to start a business like on Etsy and give money to charities and things that I feel like donating to. But it's harder than I and like, I don't know how to use PayPal, like, for people to give me money through PayPal. And my mom was making me scared about it. Somebody's here. It was my neighbor. My neighbor. I'm eating this nut thing that I made. It's um, coconut oil, but the flavorful kind that has all the benefits in it. Uh, almond milk, pumpkin seeds, walnuts, sunflower seeds, pecan, melted dark chocolate. And a little bit of peanut butter. It's pretty good. Oh, and a little bit of maple syrup, which I'm not very proud of that, but it was in the recipe. I think I can omit that next time. And add more almond milk or coconut oil. It was supposed to have shredded coconut, but I could not find unsweetened shredded coconut anywhere i have to like go to a different city to get that so but i will get it because that sounds good um so 
I still had to get a shot of Neupogen on Friday. Hopefully Monday my counts will be good on their own. But I still have that cough that I've had but like a week ago or more. They gave me antibiotics because they thought I had like sinusitis or something. I think since then my mucus got worse and like more green. I know that's gross but it's like annoying. And so this morning I woke up and I was determined to give my body beneficial things. So I ate a couple bites of this with more coconut oil piled on top of it because that is good for you. Then I had Greek yogurt, plain. Plain Greek yogurt with frozen strawberries, flaxseed, ground flaxseed, and chia seeds. And I drank water with some apple cider vinegar that has the mother in it. I'm just trying to help boost my immunities. And I've been sleeping with my diffuser on. Diffusing a bunch of essential oils. I can't smell them. Because I can't smell. But my mom said it smelled really good. I want to smell again. I want to be healthy. I don't want freaking mucus. I wake up a bunch in the night just to spit out mucus. And it's kind of a painful mucus. Does that make any sense? I'm not eating on camera. Is that gross or what? It says I got one.